Hello, this is Gary Oakes, and this tutorial is about the WordPress Catchbox theme. And I'm just going to go through this now with you. So the theme has a logo at the top, it has a search bar, and a strap line. The good thing is it has a header, and you have a primary menu with some sub menus here, and a secondary menu bar. So they're the menus towards the top of the page. We have a slider. The slider shows a, the posts. There are two posts being shown here. And then we have a home page. I've made this a widescreen, so there are no sidebars. There are some images and some text. And at the bottom there's a video, which seems to play okay. So I'm just demonstrating that there's some text, some images, and a video. You have an option to whether have a comment box at the bottom or not. And there are three footer widgets. And you can add any widgets as you like in there, and a footer menu. There are some social media icons, which are select depending on what you want to see, and a bit at the bottom about your company. So let's whiz up to the top. Let's have a look at a typical page layout. I'm just going to go to something called resources here. Not much here, I've just got a couple of images, but I've also got a sidebar, so there's a right sidebar. So the theme will allow sidebars. Again, a comment box which you can take out if you don't want it. Let's have a look at the blog then. This is where you'd put posts. And I've got two examples here. We have, as you can see, a, a sidebar, again, a right-hand sidebar. Two posts, an image with an excerpt. So small pieces of text there to encourage people to click on it. So I click on the image and it takes us to the full length post. Again, I've got a, a right-hand sidebar shown here. You can take it out if you so wish. So it's still an optional thing to have sidebars. And towards the bottom, I've got the the ability to again to leave a comment which you want to try and do for for posts that encourages that so that's it for the overview let's now look at some more detail behind the scenes once in your dashboard select appearance and customize and it will give you the options and then how you can actually tailor your theme to your desire and obviously clearly identify the limitations so site identity again it's just a logo pretty common to most of these we have colors, so you can look at basic colors and custom colors. A number of options there. Header image, you can add as many images as you like and it will, and you can randomize them, which is what I've done here. So there'll be something different every time somebody goes in. You can add a background image like I've done here and you can adjust the settings. In terms of menus, you have a primary menu, a secondary and a footer menu. They are the three menus on this theme. And if we can go back and then we've got widgets so there are three foot of widgets as I discussed earlier and you can add widgets accordingly static front page as pretty basic functionality theme options we've got a number here we've got defaults we've got a content layout you've got the excerpt length in words this is for your posts you've got your search text settings you can disable the header you can enable secondary and footer menus for mobile devices, custom CSS, and finally scroll up options. So there are a number of theme options there. Feature slider, you can play around with this in terms of adding your slider options and the, I've got two shown here, and you can have the effects in terms of how you'd like it to fade in or not and how long it takes. So there are some options on your slider. Your social links, Again, select the ones you want. If you put a path in there, it will show up. So I've just got a few examples here just to demonstrate how this works. Have the opportunity then to reset all the settings. And just some important links at the end there about the support, change log, etc. You can upgrade to a pro version. It's $50 to purchase for one license. So, and there's a number of obviously upgrades and more functionality which you can review on the site. So overall, it's, it's worth looking at. But the basic functionality in the free version should be sufficient for most people. So there you have it. This is the overview of the Catchbox theme for WordPress.